Good morning, Vietnam. Uh, when you have a table with the four legs, uh, actually, if there was no flexibility in the table, in the wood of the table, uh, there would be like always one leg not touching the ground. Yeah, unless the table is per perfect, mathematically perfect, like, uh, and the floor is perfect, which it doesn't happen. You know, if there was no flexibility in the table, there will be always one leg up in the air. Okay, so the this uh, you cannot avoid it. Yeah, so it's really the flexibility the uh, of this table that will make the four leg touch the floor. But with the table of with the three legs, there is some tables of three legs. Uh, they're always in contact with the ground. So it's uh, number three, like this triangle stuff structure is uh, the primary very uh, solid structure. And in, uh, in our lives, we will, uh, we will find this uh, uh, trinity, trinity in many stuffs, many systems of control. We will, found, we will find the Trinity. So in the, in the religions, there is three monotheistic religion, intricated, connected, each one with each other, and they had to be three, okay? Uh, there is uh, this Trinity, the, the Christian stuffs. There is this uh, triangle of hell, triangle of hell of Karpman, where you have the relationship between the uh, the victim, uh, the the oppressor, the guy who who is uh, attacking the victim and the savior. So it's a, it's a tri triangle. So this triangle a relationship uh, you will find it uh, everywhere because it's stable. It keeps the structure. The structure doesn't. Uh, yeah, doesn't uh, sh shatter, you know, it's, it's a very solid uh, stuff. Like, uh, like the bad, the good and the ugly, you know, Sergio Leone stuff. Uh, a good analogy with the religions. We have the bad, which is the, the first religion. Then the good, which is the Christians. And we have the ugly, which is the Islam. You know, Sergio Leon. It's uh, it's very true. It's uh, something like that. Sometimes I will explain to you the how they made it like this, how they intricated these uh, three religions together. Yeah, uh, Jesus being one of the of the of the primary religion, and then uh, creating the the other one. Uh, having on himself the mark of the beast and then the third religion which is the copy of the first one but it's open it's open for everybody to enter it's uh, not uh, it's a copy without the occult knowledge so it is just here to prep propagate propagate this uh, this uh, vibe this aids of consciousness yeah, so it is a junk food of religion, open to everybody. It's like McDonald's, everybody can access small IQs, 80, 80 IQs can access this uh, junk junk religion. Uh, the club is open for everybody. Yeah, so it is... Uh, it is, uh, yeah, it is a uh, junk, uh, junk... Uh, those are junk religion, but this one opened the club for everybody, and it is to spiritual spirituality what uh, what uh, Big Mac is to gastronomy. Yeah, one day I will make a video about this uh, this uh, Trinity structure of the religions. Yeah, let's uh, step to what's happening in Iran. So in Iran, they have some uh, some police, uh, 
which will check how you are dressed in the street so a woman is walking and she is worrying where her scar scarf fits on her face so they will come and tell her oh the scarf should be down and they will take her to the police center or something like this this is the level of perversion of this uh, of these uh, those uh, reptiles and the tool they gave them which is this uh, reptile religion uh, what happened in Iran is that uh, the woman uh, was uh, they took her and she died there in their in their headquarters yeah something happened to her so now you have people in the street women and everything uh, throwing their scarf burning it and uh, and people start revolting revolt like they like it was like too much you know like it was not enough before now like they feel the pain you know submission and control religions of submission and control the woman was killed I mean according to the story maybe she's, she's dead just by the string uh, the sting the sting she had some cloth or something and it would be very ironic ironic you know the game of the stuff how we, how we, how it happens yeah but uh, but the stuff are happening the, supposedly a woman died and uh, the people are in the street okay the the, the, the fight can be f in the physical reality those people may may wake you know and get enough of being uh, dominated uh BDSM style, you know, people telling you how to dress. It's a, it's it's a domination of sexual games, you know. It's, it's a perversion, if you want. Uh, how can people, adult people, stand this? But they did it. I mean, they did it with the mask and everything. So it's the component of the sick sick part of the the human to do this and to accept somebody to do this to to him. Okay, to accept to somebody to tell. Uh, to tell you how to be, how to dress, okay? Yeah, so there is a moment where uh, this stuff, people, ha they have enough, they have enough, but it should be for real. Uh, people should feel uh, that they cannot um, take it anymore. Even if the program of their religion is deep and everything, uh, the perversion of it, you know, uh, it has it has to shift inside inside of them that means in their consciousness that means in the immaterial world you will not win in the physical realm if there is not a shift in the immaterial so all all the struggles all the moves are happening in the immaterial world and then they manifest down Okay, so this uh, this uh, this religion, for example, is being uh, shook, shaken in the immaterial world. This is why we see this woman died uh, because uh, they beat her uh, or because uh, she had a cloth, you know. <laughs> Who knows, you know, but doesn't matter if the story is true or not. It, it, it tells that there is a level happening in the immaterial while... Uh, where this uh, religion of uh, control of reptilians is losing its uh, its uh, structure it's a uh, very interesting guys very interesting so those submissive people can, can they stand up stand up and say when I walk outside uh, I dress like I want you know can those people those submissive people reach that level and I was thinking if they had, the, like in USA, the amendment of carrying a weapon to defend their self, defend their freedom, uh, the story might have been different now for this uh, police of uh, behavior. They have police of behavior. If you are too happy, if you are in Saudi Arabia, there was one video where a woman was using this uh, the stuff where you sit and you go back and forth, you know, balançoire en français, like when you... You play in the park of the kids 
there was this woman dressed in the total black, you know, uh, curtain, you know, you can see nothing. And she was just having fun for, for two minutes on this uh, kids playing stuff, you know, where you, where you balance yourself back and forth. I don't have the, the name. And uh, those, um, those police of behavior, they came, they came in a Toyota 4x4 uh, vehicle. They, they get down, man between bracket, dressed in white robes, uh, telling her what you are doing here. You are having fun or something? To this stuff behind the black curtain, you know? This is the police of behavior of this, uh, those religions of the, of the Trinity of God, you know? Religions of sacrifice, of mutilation, of control, of not uh, letting you be alive, you know? Yeah, so I said, those Iranian, if they had weapon to defend themselves against this, it might have been different, okay? So let's imagine those perverts uh, in cars going around looking at scarves of women where it is, you know? It must be a special kind of people. Uh, and imagine if uh, people could have a uh, way to defend themselves. I mean, the family of this woman who died, if she had some brothers around, some cousins, you know, some uncles, and uh, they know where is the headquarters of this uh, pervert guys that killed her, or they find them uh, parked in a car, you know, a little bit of a cocktail Molotov, maybe a fast action rifle to finish the job. This is how it should be done in the physical realm, you know. But the game, like I said, is in the immaterial realm. We have, we have to be uh, already winning in our consciousness. You know, fearless, strong. If it happens, if we contaminate this reality with uh, steadiness, power and everything, we will see this kind of shit happening more and more. We are seeing the symptom, this action happening in Iran is the symptom of this vibe rising. This is why you keep you keep rising your vibe, your, uh, your freedom to be, to manifest what you are. Nobody telling you what to be or not, how to be or not, okay? Yeah, uh, this uh, was the video. What kind of picture I will put on it? Yeah, maybe I will put, uh, uh, there is this uh, Conan the Barbarian movie where he cut the head of the this reptilian stuff, you know. Uh, the reptilian guy told him what you would be before if I was not here, what you would be. And there was a moment where Arnold Schwarzenegger, Conan, uh, looked down and he was thinking, that's true, without this, this opponent, what I, I would be. You know, so it's a part of the experience to ma make our our steel, our our matter, our density, our substance. We had to have this shit in front of us, but there is a, a moment where it, where we have to destroy the destroyer. There is there is a moment to destroy, like I said, and it is it is primarily in the matter, uh, in the immaterial, primarily in the immaterial, then in the in the matter. Okay, I'm not against the action in the matter, like I said, but it has to have a winning in the material world uh, before the matter. And uh, yeah, and conveniently in the next Conan, the destroyer, there is a scene where he fight, fight his, uh, this magician and he, he couldn't hit him with his sword because he, was, he couldn't hit him. And then at a certain moment, the, the, the stuff was hidden behind mirrors. So I put you this very interesting scene in uh, Conan the Destroyer again, where uh, the opponent, the enemy, was projected behind mirrors. Okay, uh, that was the video. I will post it uh, back home. See you next time.